Hello and welcome back to FIFA Manager 2021 here at Roslo Gaming. We're playing Bitton and trying to take them to the top of Premier League and beyond. We are about the best team in the league. Yes, we are in team rating at 400 here, but we are only around in the middle of the table here uh, after a while. I don't know what, why that opened uh, the wrong table. Uh, but let's see here. Tool Station Western League. Here we go. Eighth place uh, with the 10 points up to the leaders, which is definitely not perfect. Uh, it will work here throughout the season to get higher up. And I'll show you everything that is interesting and uh, some uh, matches here and there. And uh, yeah. That's about how we do it here in this series. So I'll see you at something interesting or a match day. Oh, my shoes in here uh, might be against groups. Are they a good team? No, I. they are probably, yeah, they are the worst team. So that's probably not going to be the case. So I'll see you at some other match, maybe against Helen or Buckland. Uh, Helen is uh, pretty high up, as is Buckland. So. Uh, I'll see you, as I said, somewhere around there after this break. So, the match against the Buckland Athletic then, our team rate is 398 versus tier 362. We are 7th place, they are 8th place in the league. We did uh, beat uh, the shipping now. Helen, shipping. Helen. I don't know, not Helen. Um, the, team we had before with a 7-0 win, so that's was very good. Yeah, but we did get an injury here on Williams, which is a shame. Uh, we'll see here with that our team without that our team rating would have been 409. Uh, so that's very nice. Well, we got a talented youth scouted here. Uh, a striker, 14 year old at uh, level 18. That's pretty good. Uh, so We'll sign him. We did have a team talk or open discussion uh, that I forgot to show. I probably said I, I would show it in uh, the last episode, um, but uh, I might do a talk over if uh, if I remember. Uh, we didn't really learn much from it, but. After that, it seems like they were more happy and uh, and um, and everything just worked out in the match that we had. So, might have done something. We will uh, do this once to, to be more out there. And the team likes our communication style that we talk with everyone. So that's good. Team dynamics is now well, plus four here. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, below before uh, the uh, zero, zero level. It's been minus for quite a while, but uh, hopefully it's good here. The season four so far in current form is now pretty good. Uh, so we are a little bit in an upward trend, uh, but we'll go here with give it our best again. So I had to cut there a little bit due to a phone call, but here we are at half time and it's a draw here at the moment. Uh, we were training there a little bit for a little bit uh, of the match. If you saw that before, I cut, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the form is pretty good. Morale is not superb at all for a lot of players, but it's decent. But what? we have here that is important is the play talks when we're coming to that um just play like we practiced atmosphere 13 that's not great but we had in the last match at least teamwork up to 62 64 or something like that uh, we have a couple of players here now of course that have been subbed so uh, that might be the reason um yeah turning in 12 minutes then uh, coming back in 40th minute and now training in from the 61st minute, so looks like yeah, yeah, or we might still be able to come back, but no final score for Bitten versus Buckland Athletic is two to three, unfortunately. So another 
pretty poor match here from us. Shots 46, shots on target 44, and chances 5 to 9. Possession 40 to 60 percent. So definitely didn't deserve to win in that match. And it was Krups that we had a huge win against. But uh, dropping down back to 8th place in the league after that match. 8 points up to the league leaders now. So a little bit less uh, for that at least. And Helen, that is our next opponent, I believe, up to 2nd place in the league. So I'll yeah, definitely show you that match too. So I'll see you at that match day. And here is the match day against Helen. And as you see, our team rating for us is now down to 377, and actually only second best in the league at the moment. But we are still at 25 points, or a little bit more than that, 26 points better than Halland. So still, uh, that's like uh, almost 10%. So should give us a chance to have a good match here. Uh, but we'll see what we'll be able to Bring force here to this match, even though, of course, it's our assistant manager that is mainly doing uh, everything, so to say. Um, give more in training. Oh, yeah, whatever. And scouting here. Let's see here. Monitor League. Yeah. I hope this wasn't longer. Yeah, it wasn't. So, start a match here and uh, see how we will uh, do. Uh, still, uh, we're going to work with the uh, instant uh, results here. Uh, Highlander on great current form and form overall uh, this season. Uh, took a little bit of a more uh, risky talk, so to say. And we are training by two here at half time. We can do better. We we'll, can go a little bit with a risky talk. Atmosphere is down to 10 and teamwork 57 only. So. We really need a string of good results to, to do something here. We do get a, in a reduction there in the 63rd minute, and we missed a penalty. Or did they match Groves? That must be us, because it's blue, right? Yeah, we missed a penalty in the 83rd minute. Had a chance to claw back to a draw there. Uh, but final result for Bitten versus Hell is 1-2. Stats uh, or shots 10 to 5, shots on target 62, chances 10 to 5, and position 62 to 38%. So definitely should have won in this match, uh, but didn't. Vega having a poor match, pretty poor match, but their keeper mainly, Neil here, keeping them in uh, in the match, so to say. Uh, dropping down to 10th place in the league only. And, uh, well, nine points for the league leaders, Helen, uh, but that uh, might change at uh, some point. Uh, but yeah, very much struggling here still in this season. And I feel like I've pretty much only shown you losses so far, which is really frustrating. Uh, of course, we are pretty much just showing the matches that are a little bit tougher, so it might be due to that, but it's still matches that we should win since we're so much better in a way. Uh, speaking about that, uh, I think the match, next match I'll show is the Cadbury match here in, in two weeks' time. Uh, but uh, yeah, as usual, if something spectacular happens in between or something like that, I'll show you that. Uh, if not, I'll see you at the match against Cadbury. The match day against Cadbury Heath, and they are second best in the league at the moment with 387. And we are up back to 409 in team rating, so uh, pretty good. We had an emergency session directly after we left you uh, before the break. Uh, you only got a short little uh, message like this. Let's see here. Don't you no, not after that. Emergency session clears the air, your player's morale increases in addition to the atmosphere and the team improves. So that is something we did. And then we won uh, our last match with uh, 5 to 0 against, uh, again, the worst uh, team in the league. So not too much to say hooray about uh, regarding that, but still good, uh, really good as such. So 
hopefully we can have a good match here too. This is sort of a key match, maybe to find our footings properly. Um, at least Kedber here, he's here is in poor current form. So get out there and keep it simple. We do take the lead in the second minute. That's what I like to see. And hopefully we can get a little bit of a run here. Uh, I know I said that in the last episode, but that's really what we need. A little bit of a run uh, for a couple of matches to string good together uh, some good results and lift us up in the table. And uh, this is really good, actually. Teamwork up to 63 here, which is really great. Atmosphere at 11 only, not that super great. Uh, got a reduction there in 46 minutes by Cadbury Heat, uh, which is not good. Because now I feel a lot less safe here, but we uh, extend our lead in the 80th minute to 3 2 1, which is also the final result for Bitten versus Cadbury Heat 3 2 1. Shots 78, shots on target 3 2 2, chances in 98, and position 61 to 79 percent. So definitely uh, pretty much deserved that too, at least considering how the players played, which of course reflect how we did in the match but uh, nice there to see that we actually could do a good match uh, moves us up to sixth place in the league uh, six points off from the league leaders but we are have we have one more match played than most of them uh, conversion of chances here is coming up quite a lot which is good and we're also pretty close to the top in uh, the number of chances uh, created and call difference and we're creeping up to the top there too so overall things are looking up here a bit at least so that's uh, very nice uh, we have a uh, tough map match coming up here shortly again xmos but i think uh, we'll actually have a little bit of a longer break here now uh, until I show you another match. I think that's going to be uh, the returns, so to say, maybe against uh, Roman uh, Roman or Old Down or something like that. Uh, John scores his first goal. Atmosphere in the team improves, which is good. Uh, Williams having some doubts. Hopefully he will score in the next match. Preston getting, gaining uh, experience level. Always good. That's uh, automatically to a level boost for the whole team and everything. And uh, Bishop here, team of the week. And uh, basic level 38. Really, really good here. Improving uh, a fair bit here throughout the season. Uh, but I'll uh, see you after this short break in uh, whatever match it is or whatever situation we are in. I'll show you this best on best team of the year 2021. So this is something that's a little bit special to FIFA Manager. It's a table for the whole calendar year rather than the whole season. Uh, so we are, according to this, winning uh, the league quite clearly if that would be the case here. Five points before Helen, uh, average points is 2.1 so Burislington here that they have been promoted um, did have a better better run here uh, I don't know if Burislington is in the league at the moment or if they were the team that got promoted I think that's the case but I don't remember um, crazy goal difference yeah it must be because they we have no runaway like that. Crazy goal difference there. 43 for uh, 19 matches. That's uh, crazy. And 61 goals for 19 matches. That's an average of over three goals per match. Really crazy. So uh, we are coming in here for the match against Roman Glass St. George. And that's the match I'll uh, show you here. As, uh, finish of this episode uh, coincides with uh, the ups and downs for halfway through this season and also the transfer window i don't really see us getting in any new players but uh, you never know uh, but uh, overall i think that's pretty unlikely williams going up here one level very good hansen going up one level and some uh, positioning so 
two levels up there for our uh, first 11. Um, so that's good on the ups and downs. Always nice that you win levels instead of lose them. Uh, our team rating 416 versus stairs 337. And uh, we have had a couple of wins, two or three in a row um, hereafter. But we did lose that match that looked a little bit tough. Uh, so that was not great. But other than that, it's looking good here. Do we have anyone? Yeah, we have a couple of players here that we want to prolong. So let's uh, show you that, that too uh, expired this season. Kington, if we want to extend your contract. Two years, sure. Suggestion. Add or remove a yes. Let's make you an offer then for 1k per month. Uh, Howard. Let's uh, come in with a suggestion here too. Um, appearance money, yes. 1200 so you're actually going to go down a little bit in salary that's good too and then we have uh, madinga uh, unfortunately you're going to go up here i guess um, suggestion let's see here so appearance money let's uh, let's give you 10 or 12 uh, we'll go on the suggestion again and uh, Give you like that 20 appearance money, so that can actually be a, a fair bit lower here than this says, I believe at least. And offer, I think, uh, talk here, you are our backup striker at least three years, yeah. So we'll actually wait a little bit with that. Um, they are happy about things, which is good. Let's have a team and dynamics here, too. Uh, and it's on the positive here, so it's nice. More in training. Well, yeah, you have some uh, up levels there, but that's maybe due to the up and downs. Uh, but yeah, more in training and some scouting here to close things off before before we play the match here against the uh, St. Roman, so Roman Glass thingy. Roman Glass, yeah. Roman Glass St. George, so as I said, 416 for us, 337 for them, so it should be a very easy win. Season so far we are at 3 and the current form at 3-2. Um, do we go a little bit risky? Yeah, we do. Just because, so we can lose this match. <laughs> Uh, we are sixth in the league at the moment. We do take the lead and extend the lead there in just about the 30 minute mark. So leading 2 to 0 here after half time. So looking good. So let's say just that. And uh, atmosphere 12. It's not great. Team are up to 63. So it's a lot better than it's been for a long time. Uh, we're trying a little bit in atmosphere. Hopefully we can keep the momentum that we have now and get up the atmosphere to a good level too and be even more impressive. So when there was on tier 42 looked like it might have been a big win for quite the time. But final result for Bitten versus Roman Glass St. George is 42. Shots 76, shots on target 43, chances 12 to 6 and possession 61 to 39 percent. So a well deserved win. Um, could have been bigger, uh, but it wasn't. Uh, we are in sixth place in the league. Had uh, good uh, momentum here, four wins in a row, and uh, we have eight points up to the league leaders. So we're a little bit close here at halfway of uh, the season, but uh, we need. We need to win those a little bit tougher matches here uh, for the remainder of the season to be able to have a chance to win the league or at least come second. So we can have another try at uh, 
is getting promoted in the playoffs that we lost out on last year, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you here soon again. Bye-bye. You have been watching Rolls Glow Gaming, and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left, you will see the next video in this series, and on the right, our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.